Welcome to Sweet Death Entertainment. I'm AJ Motts. I am RJ Stone. And today we're going to be taking a look at a band that's been around for a long time. The guitar player's been around even longer. Played for uh, Ozzy. Yeah. Zach Wild. Yes. <laughs> it's like, who else did he play for? Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, what was the band? Uh, uh, Steel Dragon? Steel Dragon. Oh, there you go. Steel Dragon. <laughs> yeah. With Marky Mark. Yeah. We already did that he episode. Loves it. Yeah, I know. We already did that episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, so who are we talking about? Black Label Society. Black Label they Society. They just released their 11th studio album called Grimmest Hits. It came out on the 19th of January. And uh, they did a, another video already. Yeah. This is the second video off the album. This one's called A Love Unreal. A Love Unreal. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of a little it, bit of a comical approach to this Yeah, video. he's been doing that lately yeah. with his videos, Zach has. It's the, kind of tongue-in-cheek, but he has fun doing it. And I think he yeah. realizes, like, what the hell? Why be serious with these things? Right. Let's have a good time. The, and you get people like us who watch yeah. them. Yeah. The music is serious and heavy enough the way it is. Mm-hmm. Might as well make the videos comic and light and fun and entertaining and... Yes. It's fun. And we think you're going to enjoy this one. So we're going to go right into yeah. it. Uh, it's about four and a half minutes, give or take. Uh, but let us know if you see some, well, we'll let you know yeah. that there's some familiar themes going on here. Yeah. So here we are, A Love Unreal, the new Black Label Society. Wasn't there a movie, Death Takes a Holiday or something like that? Mm. Oh, yeah. So we find out death is retired. Yes. And what do you do in retirement in hell? You build a fireman's pole. Yeah. <laughs> in your man cave. Your man castle cave dungeon. I, I find it <laughs> night and shining over. I find it ironic <laughs> that death likes his eggs sunny side up. <laughs> I like this. He's got the, the disco ball on a clapper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so please note, he's, he checks his reaper for yeah. sharpness. Yes. Okay. So if you're deaf and you own a reaper, what do you do for a business? Uh huh. <laughs> you go into landscaping. What else do you do? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of bills piling up. Yeah. And when I first saw this video, I was like, if he gets in anything but a hearse, I'll be disappointed. Yeah. Two definites in life: death and taxes. Yeah. Well, death. At least death can always get out of a ticket, right? Barely <laughs> dead. <in> the <laughs> Wait. Dead trees, dead law, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's the subtle crap. Watch yeah. this. Takes his Reaper out, makes sure it's still sharp. He yeah. hasn't done anything yet. Where do you think they <laughs> filmed this? Does it look like it's filmed it and there's a mowing the lawn? Probably, probably LA, somewhere in the valley or something. I, I don't know. I'm, looks too woodsy and there's too much space. Yeah. Huh. Ah. So Death oh, has a thing for chick. the neighborhood girl. You chick. How you doing? <laughs> with a dead skeleton arm. With a glove on it. Yeah. <laughs> Death apparently has something for chicks with yoga pants. Yeah. Don't we all? True. Best invention ever. <laughs> so I couldn't help but think when I saw this video the first mm-hmm. time of the Family Guy ep- episode. Yeah. When Death is there and... Yeah, yeah. Tries to get a girlfriend. Uh huh. And there he sees this yeah. girl again. College chick, lots of ramen. Yeah. Or she works retail. And he's got to ask her out. He has he's to. He's got it. Come on, Death. Do it. Step up ask to the plate, out. dude. Do it. No. Oh, come on. Now, let me ask you this Does any good red blooded meat eater just put a cold steak on a cold grill? No. Okay. You got to let it grow, warm up. Yeah. He doesn't even care he's on fire. You're on fire! <laughs> no, what? No I don't problem. care. Can't no, feel it? No. Whatever. Hi. See ya. Okay. Weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's just trying to be friendly. All right. Laundry. Because, you know, <laughs> Death's got his robes. Yeah. Washy washy. Yeah. So, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so, his Death boxes for briefs. What is it? Right. But or probably commando, I'm guessing. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> There's nothing to support. <laughs> Apparently, so death's a pool shark. Yeah. High five. Uh, I'd rather, rather not. <laughs> so is is that the Hello Kitty guitar? Yeah, that's what we were wondering. 
It could be, because uh, if you haven't seen it, Zach Wilde did a video where he's playing some uh, Zach's, uh, Zach Sabbath, playing Black Sabbath on a Hello Kitty guitar. Because he can. Because yeah. he's that good. He can, it still sounds good. It's funny. And then Mike Portnoy did a drum solo yeah, on, yeah. on a Hello Kitty drum set. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now here's this girl getting uh, harassed and abused, and here comes Death to save the day. Dude, you don't no. mess with another man's rhubarb. Not the Hello Kitty guitar. Uh-oh. So, is he Death, is he Sith, or is he Emperor Palpatine? All right. Coming up, Force Lightning. lightning. <laughs> Force Lightning. To the nads. Vindication. <laughs> and she's laughing because Wait, hold on, he baby. Just saved hold the day. Because, you know, he's an X-Men, and gloves make all the difference. Even though she just touches she's holding his, his shoulder. Yeah. yeah. And there so you Death have it. finally gets the girl in the end. Yeah. A happy ending. Death got laid. <laughs> we hope. Yeah, so a fun video from Black Label Society. And Zach not even in the video. No. Not, well, unless he's, Unless he was Death. Unless he's Death. Which, you don't know. Who knows? You don't know. We'll check the credits later. Yeah. So, fun little thing, side note here. So go mm. watch the video if you, you, you know, we do what we do. Go yeah. back and watch it. Look at all the little subtle. Uh, yeah. So Zach, fun little story about Zach. Okay. Um, Zach's another one of these rock stars who's really tangible, right? Down to earth. Yeah. Like you run into him in the street, he'll sit there and shoot the oh, shit yeah. with you and everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, met him on the No More Tears tour, which was uh -huh. the first No More Tours. Okay. Um, this is pre-bodybuilding and everything. Yeah. Skinny just, Zach with the bell bottoms. Yep. Just okay. chilling, <laughs> chatting with him, talking, you know, talking Jersey and yeah. talking the finer points of Wawa, which most people out here have no idea what that is. <laughs> but just super chill, laid back dude. Mm -hmm. Always has been. Saw him at Nam a few years later. Oh, yeah. Same dude. Yeah. Okay. Up on stage, you know, now he's just, yeah. you know, but just super cool guy. So if you ever get a chance to meet him, go meet him. Yeah, and uh, I was, one of the times I've seen Black Label say they just got packed from Japan. And so everybody's kind of got that Japan hangover, mm -hmm. uh, uh, flight sickness, or, uh, you know, whatever. And Jet lag. Jet lag. That's what I was trying to think of. Thank you. He's there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the drummer, Phil, at the time, was apparently having a little too many issues with jet lag and being sick. And they'd had to stop the show a couple of times so he can go puke. And I guess Zach had had enough. So all of a sudden, Zach disappears off stage. The rest of the band members clear out for about 15 minutes. Zach comes back on stage, says, I just kicked Phil out of the band. But we're going to continue with Craig Nunemacher from Crowbar, who was opening at the time. So Craig filled in. They did some, shockingly, Sabbath tunes. <laughs> Go with what and, you yeah. know. Uh, and, but yeah, and this was a while back too. Um, way before Zach Sabbath. And uh, so I was just a Zach moment. Yeah. You know. He has. He doesn't hold back. No. But then after the show, there's a bunch of us out at the gate behind the, the, the grove. Mm -hmm. And just shooting the shit with a bunch of people just That's standing there. That's what he does. That's what he does. At the time, drinking a beer, shooting the shit. Yeah. So yeah. Zach's got a busy tour, as does BLS. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a busy tour schedule. Excuse me. Let me yeah. finish that. Uh, he's got a few dates here that are wrapping up now. Going over to Europe. Yeah. Okay. Starting March 3rd through April 9th. He'll and be in Europe. With Black Label Society. Yes. And then he's back here. For two dates. With yes. Ozzy. Uh, and this is Ozzy's last tour. So if you mm -hmm. never got a chance to see Zach with Ozzy, you know, do whatever you want to say about Sharon. That's fine. That's your opinion mm -hmm. and everything. But Zach is holds true that he owes his career to Ozzy. Mm -hmm. So he's returning the favor and going out yeah. with him. I don't think I don't think then, that anybody else could do it. You know, yeah, it wouldn't no. be right. No, not at all. It wouldn't be right. And uh, Ozzy's going to be in South America and Europe after that. Mm -hmm. So plenty of time to see Zach and Ozzy uh, together. There you go. Mm -hmm. So thanks for tuning in. Everything, all the pertinent information, hopefully you're used to this by now, will be below. Yep. Original okay. video in the description below. Um, uh, social media links. Go to sweetdeath.net, pick yourself up a hoodie since it's cold out. Yeah. You need to stay a little warm. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. We will. We'll be back soon. I'm RJ Stone. I'm AJ Motts. Stay middle. Sacrifice nothing. This is Sweet Death Entertainment.